Hello! Let's show you how to hit level 100 in just a few short hours. This is a third part in a series, but if you have not seen the first two videos, have no fear. Let's get you caught up. On the island, hit level 70 from notes, then farm what you need for your first few tames. A Pterodon and a Megatherium. Then head to Ragnarok and tame them, make Gilly and Crow Pods, then head to Scorched Earth. Check out the previous videos linked above for more details. If you've crowded your dinos, you can spawn as north and west as possible. But if you uploaded, you will need to spawn in Midlands 4 for your best chance of survival. Of course, you can still spawn in the north to speed the process along. If in Midlands 4, find a drop or run to Green Obby if it isn't blocked, and get your Pterodon and Saddle, then head toward the Blue Obby area. Find a drop near Blue Obby or use the Blue Obby to get your Megatherium out. At the part in the next step where you would cryo your Megatherium, but you do not have cryos, just park it over here at 15.5 and 21.5. Put it on neutral, then you continue with the steps. And remember, this is instead of crowning your Megatherium after getting it levels. Once you have your dinos, we will head to this area, 28.2 and 41.7, and start getting experience notes for the Megatherium. Level the Megatherium in melee, unless you want to use this Megatherium for boss fighting. There is no need to put points into health, as it takes damage just for speed and meat to heal it. Real quick, we will run around grabbing a few notes with the Megatherium. We're going to pretty much run north, just grabbing everything close by. You can check the Scorched Earth resource map and select notes to see where all the experience notes in the area are located, in case you want to hit more than I am or make a different route. After a couple of notes, we can crowd the Megatherium and use the Herodon to grab a 4x note located here at 24.4 and 29.6, but make sure your crowd timer is over before grabbing it. Once you have the 4x note, rush for this area, 12.3 and 15.5. We will start out by the salt that is there. Pop out the Megatherium, growl the Pterodon and kill anything in the area to collect hide, and the bushes for fiber so you can make some sleeping bags. Go ahead and place those, and let's get started. If for some reason a death worm is at the spot you land, quickly kill a bug with the Megatherium and kill the death worm. Which is what we will be doing. We will be going in a circle or triangle, whatever you want to call it, between multiple points. Running toward the blue obby, staying in the desert, all the way to the salt pile at the coordinates 10.7 and 24.8. Then we will head toward the world border and we will end up at the coordinates 9, 23.8. From here, follow the border back towards the starting point. Once parallel with the starting point, head back over to it and just continue this loop. Doing this loop allows us to de-render the area and re-render it in as we go. When we re-render in the area, there is a chance for death worms to spawn. The idea here is to spawn death worms as fast as possible and kill them. To do this, the Megatherium needs to have a bug buff. Run if it doesn't have the buff and a death worm comes for you. And always pay attention to your stamina to make sure you can run away if you need to. Watch what happens when a Megatherium with 600 melee fights a death worm without the bug buff. The Megatherium was barely able to win. If anything had gone wrong, the Megatherium would have died. And it's unlikely yours will have 600 melee until after a few kills. Now, as you run around, you can use K to move the camera around and look under the ground to see if you can spot a death worm. Once spotted, go kill a nearby bug and charge the death worm using your swipe attack. It is important to sprint at the death worm while using the swipe attack. Let me show you why. If you stand your ground or walk so you do not burn stamina, the death worm gets to attack a lot. If you're sprinting while swiping, you can push the death worm, reducing the amount of attacks the death worm can do. Now, if you have a sword, you can pull it out when the death worm is super bloody, with a lot of lines across its belly, and swipe it until it dies. If you have a gun, you can shoot it. This will give you the most XP possible, but your Megatherium will take more damage and you will have to force feed it more often. On top of that, the Megatherium will not get any experience points. It is safer to just kill the Death Worm with the Megatherium. As the Megatherium gains levels, it will kill even faster, speeding the entire process up. This is my preferred method, but you do you. If you have tribe mates, they can follow nearby on whatever dino and just dismount before you kill the Death Worm to gain experience as well, and hit level 100 around the same time as you. 
Depending on the server rates, this should only take 4 or so hours. It's boring, but it's the fastest way to level 100 as a fresh spawn on a new server. If you find yourself needing water, near the starting point is an oasis with a water spot. It is located at 13.4 and 11.3. Head over to refill on water. You can also drink from the blue bugs called water jug bugs, if their butt is full of water. They're not always around, so do not count on them as a source of water. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.